You've talked a lot about this importance of teaching before. It's a bit unusual for a Nobel Prize winner, but what convinced you of that importance? Well, after I got the prize, uh, I noticed that many of the large um, undergraduate courses were often being taught by instructors uh, who are uh, expert at what they do, very dedicated, very organized. But I thought that it sort of lo lost that opportunity of having that special spark that can come when a research scientist is presenting uh, the work to the classroom. Instead of trying to convince my um, senior distinguished colleagues to um, participate in more teaching at the introductory level, I decided to maybe show by example. What a great start you can give freshmen coming in from high school. Uh, they're all excited about being at the university. They have, uh, their anticipation is high, their hopes are high, and to sort of be able to work with these students and say, you know, you're not in high school anymore. We're going to interrogate these problems in a different way at a different level. They really respond well to that. And you've talked before about this idea of stop worrying and love the classroom. What do you mean by that? Well, this is coming from someone who didn't have much teaching experience when I joined the faculty uh, in Boulder. Similar to most of our faculty, I was employed, I was given a position because of my research accomplishments and my research ideas for the future. The teaching it was sort of just assumed that someone who knew how to work in the laboratory would know how to uh, succeed in the classroom. But that's really not true. And uh, without some real experience, it's hard to be good at it. If you're not good at it, you're intimidated by it. And so uh, I was um, not comfortable in front of the classroom. I didn't like having to teach large classes. Uh, and therefore, I probably didn't do a very good job. How did I change? How did I turn around? Well, I took advantage of some of the uh, resources that the university offers, such as videotaping uh, your class and then watching yourself perform badly on video. But uh, I think the main thing was just more practice. So to faculty out there who want to find that research and teaching balance, what's your best advice? I consider myself to be a full-time teacher all the time. I mean, there's just never a moment when, um, you know, I'm at King Supers and somebody comes up and says, you're Tom Check, right? And I say, yes. And I say, I've been wondering about CRISPR genome editing. And I have a, a teaching moment. Uh, the research, I mean, so how do I balance the two? I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know if I try to balance the two. I try to integrate them as much as possible. Okay, Tom Check, thank you very much.